Whether you work in IT or not, you've probably heard of automation as a method to save money, improve efficiency, and minimize errors. However, following automation, you may wonder what action to take next. And today, we'll talk about orchestration. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. First, let's find out what the orchestration is and how it's connected with DevOps. Orchestration is managing a set of automated tasks to create an entire workflow. A sysadmin sets up a system to perform a series of jobs based on specific rules and parameters. Orchestration can involve the configuration, coordination, and management of multiple computer systems, apps, or datasets. DevOps teams must navigate across departments, requiring a solution where their tools can also be piloted smartly. This situation calls for DevOps orchestration solutions, which can combine numerous automated elements from different DevOps toolkits. By the way, would you like to know who DevOps engineers are and what they do? Read our fresh article about the topic by the link under the video. With DevOps orchestration, Teams can utilize their current in-use automation tools while engaging under an overarching umbrella designed to pull everything into a single workflow. Okay, but what is the difference between automation and orchestration? Automation refers to automating a single process or a few related tasks, such as deploying an app. In comparison, orchestration refers to managing multiple automated tasks to create a dynamic workflow. It may be deploying an app, connecting to a network, and integrating it with other systems. Whereas automation is a simple, if this, then that process, orchestration has many moving parts and requires advanced logic. Technically, automation is a subset of orchestration, as you cannot orchestrate manual, non-automated tasks. Now, you may be wondering, what are the benefits of orchestration? Let's review them one by one. The first one is centralized management, Orchestration enables teams to automate tasks across multiple platforms from a single point, which provides centralized monitoring and management over all IT servers, applications, and workflows. The next one is fast and easy integrations. Centralized coordination among IT servers and applications enables easier and faster integration of new tools and systems into the existing infrastructure. And the final one is reduced product release cycles. Coordinating IT workflows such as DevOps and automation testing enables faster time to release new products and applications. We need to see some examples of the orchestration tools, right? Let's start with discussing Kubernetes. It's an open source, out of the box container orchestration tool. It has an excellent scheduler and resource manager for deploying highly available containers more efficiently. According to CNFCF's cloud native landscape, there are more than 109 tools to manage containers, but 89% are using different forms of Kubernetes. Have you already tried this tool? Drop a comment. The next one is OpenShift. This tool is built on top of Kubernetes. Along with core Kubernetes features, it offers container management and orchestration out-of-the-box features. And last but not least is Docker Swarm. It's still maturing in terms of functionalities compared to other open source container cluster management tools. But considering the vast Docker contributors, it won't be long for the Docker Swarm to have all the best functionalities other tools possess. The more workloads and operations your team manages, the more value you'll find in orchestration. Whether you host apps and data on-premise or in the cloud, or both, you should eliminate manual tasks to make your business processes more reliable, predictable, and faster. So, have you already implemented orchestration in your workflow? Let us know in the comments. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So subscribe not to miss a single video.
Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.